Hi everyone, my name is James Hutchison. We are unfortunately still in lockdown here at Mississauga Golf and Country Club, but there are still things we can do to practice. Uh, luckily, I'm here in the dining room and we've set up our nice putting green to get some practice in. But for you guys, a carpet, a basement, anywhere you can hit some putts is a great opportunity to practice. So I'm gonna take you through uh, a little practice for your routine today that will hopefully develop some good habits that you can take to the golf course come springtime. Okay, so the biggest thing that's gonna help you over the winter is to just practice your routine and get in some really good habits. Okay, so I've got a short putt set up here. You don't have to putt to a hole. You can you know, just put any kind of target down to putt to. Um, it's pretty short putt, it's maybe seven or eight feet. And I'm just gonna go through my full routine and try to focus on a couple different things that I'll highlight as I do this, okay? So first thing, and it may seem a little, a little weird because you're, you know, you're in your basement or whatever, but give it a try and try to develop some good habits. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark my ball, okay? And then the first thing I want you guys to think about is how far back do you go when you read your putt? Because if you go three steps back sometimes, one step back sometimes, seven steps back sometimes, that means you're gonna be seeing it, you're gonna perceive a putt differently every time. Okay, so the first thing I want you to think about is how far back behind this ball do we get to read our putt? Most people like to crouch down and have kind of like a, a worm's eye view of this, um, which is something I like to do as well. Okay, so I'm three steps behind my ball and that's, how, that's where I read my putt from every time. Okay, so once I've done that, I like to go to the side and have a view of the uphill downhill from about halfway. So I'll be kind of over here. And again, I'm gonna get down. So the distance away from your line, again, I'm probably six feet, or sorry, six steps. And this will change depending if you're in anyone else's way, but stick to it the best you can. So that way we're perceiving the putt the same way every time. And then I'm gonna walk back around here. Okay. If you're someone who uses a line, Make sure you get that line right where you want it. I just like to put the Titleist in my golf ball right up facing me. Okay, I'm gonna take my marker away. Notice the pace I'm moving at. I'm not in a rush. Doesn't mean I'm going slow, but I'm certainly taking my time, trying to visualize. Okay, I'm gonna walk in slowly. I'm gonna take my practice putt, and on the practice putt, here's another good habit to get into, is really try to visualize it in real time. Okay, so I'm gonna make a stroke. I want you to see the ball rolling, going into the hole. Good, then we're gonna get over it. Now you've already done it once in your practice putt, so just do it again. See it go in. Easy, go pick it out of the hole. Find, find a different spot in your basement and start this whole process over again. So you're gonna move your target, put your ball down somewhere else. It seems a little silly, but when we get over this putt, See if you can take a deep breath. When you get to the bottom of that deep breath, that's when we're gonna pull the trigger and go. Okay, so when you're going through your routine, there's four things I want you to focus on and none of them have anything to do with holding the putt. It's all about just building good habits, okay? So we're gonna make sure we're reading the putt from the same spot or spots every time, all right? We're gonna make sure we have really good tempo, not only to our stroke, but kind of our whole demeanor when we walk around, we wanna make sure we're slow or under control, okay? The third thing is we wanna have really good visualization. I want you to see the ball going in in real time. Don't make a haphazard kind of pass at your practice stroke. And then the fourth thing is we're gonna breathe, take a deep breath in, let it all out. And once we reach the bottom of that breath, that's when we're gonna pull the trigger. Hopefully this helps you guys practice over the winter and get ready to make more putts.